Okay, well, here's the charger. You want to see what it looked like when I connected it to the hybrid battery? Here we go, it's connected. You can see the milliamps at the bottom means energy is making its way from the charger to the battery. I'll go ahead and do this every couple of weeks. If I'm not driving this car, it's not my only car, so if it sits in the garage for a while, I'll hook it up to the charger, let it run for a couple hours and bring back some of the energy it lost from self-discharge, which is normal for nickel metal hydride. Okay, now it's the next morning, um, taking a look. It's been on the charger probably 10 or so hours. We're at 240 volts, still delivering energy to the hybrid battery through the max volts uh, charging cable. So I think I'm gonna take it off the charger so at this point, I decided to put in my OPD2 wireless dongle and get some data to send in to MaxVolts and figured I might as well make some content out of this so I can help others understand how to use the Dr. Prius program. Okay, MaxVolts just got back with me. They're usually really quick on their email replies. Um, they told me that my back voltage is great. It's running very high uh, voltage range, high state of charge. Everything looks good there. Typical ending voltage is 240 to 245 volts. Uh, voltage difference, also great. 0 0.07 voltage difference between the different blocks. It's very low and good. Delta state of charge, 0%, which means there's no difference between the highest and lowest blocks. They're balanced. Blade voltage, 8.37 volts per blade, which is a uh, high state of charge for all the modules average. Uh, they told me that the battery temperature looks great and balanced between the three areas of the packs that there's a temperature probe. Everything looks good. Battery fan and cooling system they use in their charger works great, keep the temperatures down. Now the overall um, block balance looks awesome at the bottom. You can see the difference between the block voltages and that corresponds to the voltage balance above here in the screenshot, the 0.07. It's very well balanced battery pack. The only uh, issue they saw was with my 12 volt battery, which has nothing to do with my hybrid battery. The car's been parked for a couple weeks, so I have keyless entry and that typically drains the 12 volt battery. So I put that on the trickle charger as well. Um, so that's the only thing that needs attention. Hybrid battery looks great. And here's some of the, uh, the data as the, uh, the car was in on the ACC position. It's land landscape view. Yeah, you can see my 12 volt battery is pretty low in that. I don't know why Dr. Prius has the uh, graphs look so jagged in between the different blocks, but if you look at the map, the difference between the blocks is very, very small. Uh, voltage difference between highest and lowest blocks is the voltage difference. The state of charge difference between the highest, the best, and worst blocks is the delta state of charge. The blade voltage is the average voltage of each blade module in the blocks. The battery total voltage is this box over here. And voltage difference 0 0.06, 0 0.07. That's about as good as you can get for a battery being balanced. I think I seen as low as 0 0.05 when I was recording this earlier. But 100% healthy battery. And this car has well over 200,000 miles on it on the original battery. The only last piece of the information in the Dr. Prius app is cumulative uh, voltage delta at the bottom. They're 0 0.03 volts apart from block to block. So everything looks very well balanced and the internal resistance numbers, they're all about the same. So I would consider that a healthy battery crack as long as the modules in the pack are all the same condition and internal resistance, you shouldn't have any trouble.
you're interested in learning more about the tools used in this video, the OBD2 wireless interface to connect to your iPhone or Android, the EL1 series charger for grid charging your third generation Toyota Prius hybrid, or the MaxVolts Pro Automatic Discharger, you can scan any of these QR codes to be taken directly to their website. My first dealings with the MaxVolts company came a couple years ago when I had bought a Georgia auto auction car that had a hybrid battery code of a P0A80 and the cost of the battery was going to cost more than the value of the car so I had to come up with another option. Did some research found that there's a company that builds charging and discharging equipment so you can recondition your own hybrid battery and ever since uh, it's really changed my life. It's been able to save that vehicle, save many other family vehicles, my own vehicles, and I've done some work for dealerships as well for storing their batteries. 